past but some things in us stop us and in the end that destroys our lives it took me a while to understand this life lesson there are so many life lessons but this I think is the most important I've learned to be honest to yourself and to others because guys no matter if you believe in a life after this this is still the life we have as of now so why not try to enjoy it by being yourselves no games no lies I mean I know it can be boring <laughs> to do that also and not, not really boring but what 
you have to to be good, to be happy, but then you surrender because you can't and should not really control others. You can try if you want to waste your energy on the heart. And I mean waste because people will still do what they want. They might please you for some moment, but their true colors will shine through. I mean, you can think of that as good or bad. But what you need to do is to find someone like you. That's what I've learned. Someone like you or someone who appreciates you so you don't have to change someone who like also who laughs at your jokes someone who think your flaws is funny or good even good <laughs> you don't need to fake things you don't need to you know learn so much about social skills if you find that person or people to be with because they will just accept you understand you because maybe they're just like you or maybe you're their perfect match to be their friend partner you know companion so a life lesson I've learned like I've tried to compromise I hate that word I think you compromise when you know you're so different and you just try to go halfway you know but if you're satisfied with yourself with your inner self you will find that person or that person finds you or not you can be happy on your own too but unless yeah when you are happy with yourself I think that's the right time to find another person to be with you that's what I've learned like I was celibate for 14 years and I learned to to get to know myself to, to really know what I want I needed those years to know who I am my voice, my real voice not my mom's, not my siblings, not my grandparents I mean my grandparents, my siblings um, before and also Maria were only the they were the ones I bonded to and of course their voices will be in my head um, even people I didn't bond to they would be in my head if I believe their actions or words were the right one and I needed those 14 years to truly listen to myself, to ask myself is that what I really want? or is that my mom talking? is that my sister talking? is that my, my, my teacher is talking? I needed that silence I know 14 years is a long time but I needed that um, if you are a Filipino or just a woman you know that you're sensitive to what others think and in the end when you work it you knew exactly what you wanted and then you went to school you got friends <laughs> you have your relatives everyone wants to move like this crystal ball <laughs> and you 
forget so really if you remember how you were as a kid it's like that's the only thing you <laughs> you need to learn about life because kids are so open to life but we forget that so find some time alone in the mountains in the forest and think shut all the noises and listen to you if you believe in God talk with God ask him to be open again to be a kid again <laughs> okay guys that's my life lessons I hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel Scorpio and YT and to click on the bell next to the subscribe button down below so you will know when I upload a video please go to my boyfriend's ASMR channel also Michael Soothing ASMR and to my daughter's three channels Art and Beauty Freak and Aya Phil and Naturally Vegan 011 please comment on this video and please share Thank you so much for watching. I love you.